Oh, oh, hello. Uh, hi, my name's Ditech, CTO of DVS. I'm just doing a little bit of practice on uh, Street Fighter, ready for IFSEC when you all come and challenge us. Jamie Pearson, especially you. I can't wait to lose to you, because I'm really crap at this, but besides the point. So today, welcome to the video today. We're gonna run through a Optex WXI uh, external 180 degree PIR solution. That was a mouthful. Um, combined with the Hike Vision NVR. So how we set the PIR up, the different um, options in there, and how we get it to trigger a PTZ on an NVR. Sounds nice and simple, it is simple. So we're gonna switch you around now and show you the solution. So it's set up ready by there for you. Da -da. Um, so join us in a minute where we'll run through the solution. Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna take a closer look at the detector. So please use your imagination. We fitted the detector on a, what would be a straight facade externally. So I've had to use my engineering skills. So as you can imagine, this would be our facade of the building, we fitted this externally. Anyone coming in and out of the building, either side of it or in front of it, a 180 degree arc would be detected. And we've got our cable end, which goes all the way to the back of the NVR. So we're using the Pi encoder. So the Pi encoder is powered by PoE, which gives us a 12 volt output, which we've connected to this cable, which is powering the detector. And this is our alarm cable, which wires in to the back of the NVR alarm inputs. The Pi encoder is a great way of using PoE to power your devices. We do have an integration on some of our NVRs with the Pi encoder. If you need more details, speak to us. Nevertheless, it's a brilliant device. So, as you can see on the terminals, we've got the power from the Pi encoder, 12 volt. We've got our alarm contacts here. So they're split left and right, but I've set the dip switches in there for indiv uh, this individual or combined mode. So individual mode is off. So both are signaling through the same output. But if you wanted to know left or right, you've got two outputs, which allows that. You've got your tamper terminals there and there's the tamper switch and you've got your trouble or SP is not used in this instance. But if you're using the battery one um, or anti-mask one, there's a trouble output. So for dip switches in there. So you've got your LED on and off. You've got your uh, contact type normally open, normally closed, your individual, and then some of them are spare. You've got your settings type, uh, sensitivity type for left and right can be set individually. They're left as medium by default, so we're gonna leave them as medium. That's the suggested. If you need to adjust them for um, due to the installation type, speak to Optex or ourselves and we can advise on that. If you also have a plug-in header, um, is a plug-in uh, end-of-line resistor type that we can also use um, if it's going on to a intruder alarm panel, for instance. We don't use resistors on the NVR inputs. Okay, that's the LED, so you can turn it on. Some people want them to be uh, covert and they want the LED off so you can't determine the detection pattern. That's fine. What you'll also see is the uh, actual sensor heads here um, and you'll see the guards there. So these are masking guards. So you can see there, they're on a rail. So if you need to mask an area off so you don't, there's a door or a window which you're not um, bothered about um, protecting or like an outhouse or something or anything you're not, you want to mask that off from being detected and um, which would cause a false alarm. It's on a rail, you simply open that as needed to adjust that pattern. Then you'll see there's a um, detection range. So we go from 2.5 to 12 meters. So I've set it to about five meters. So it's in feet either side. Each one are individually, so left and right are individually adjustable through this slide here. That's in feet, that's in meters. Um, I use meters. There's your release catch. Um, and that's really about it for the sensor. So what we've done then is connected it up to the NVR. So I'm gonna set you back on the other camera and we'll set, show you how this lovely sensor works. Right, okay. So we're on our NVR here. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see the menu structure. We're on an NVR, iSeries NVR with GUI 4. So we simply wire this into input two on the rear. So to set this up, we go to system, event, normal event, alarm input, and we're using local input two on the back of the unit. So we click edit, we give that our name, so I've already named it Optex WXI, but you can give that any name you like. You choose whether it's normally open or normally closed, depending on how you set the PIR, and we ch change it to input state. You select your arming schedule, 
Your linkage action will be full screen monitoring, audible warning, notify surveillance center, send email. So we'll tick all of them so you can see it all in action. The appropriate camera, so we're gonna trigger uh, PTZ externally. Um, so when I move in front of the sensor, the PTZ will move to a preset position. It'll give us an alarm and an app notification. So to choose that, we from our PTZ linkers, we choose the appropriate PTZ, and I've already set PTZ preset number three. So we can apply that. That's already saved and done. Um, I'm in schedule 24-7. Again, if you're using arm disarm um, through a key switch or intruder alarm function, you can use input one and use the one key disarm function and you can disable the notify surveillance center, send email and audible warning, etc., cetera, um, by using the on off uh, shunt. So that's very handy as well. It's already an alarm, so I'm walking in front of the sensor. So I'm gonna set this up now and show you how it works. Okay, so you join us now. So here's our imaginary line across here. So I'm gonna hide behind it on both sides of the sensor so you can see a trigger. You can already see it's activating. I'm gonna turn the audible warning back on because it was so annoying I turned it off just while I set up. So I'm gonna do that very quickly. Okay, we're all ready to go. So what you'll see is that will go full screen. PTZ will turn around to his alarm preset and I'll get notifications to the app. So just keep an eye on this. I'm gonna do one side and then go to the other side of it and do the other. So for now, watch the red light on the PIR, screen change, so there we go. So I just triggered it as I walked in, so we'll wait for that to reset. And the PTZ is going back to its home position. So here we go. So I walk out one side, it's picked me up, PTZ turns around, fantastic. And it'll go back to its home position. Okay, and again, from the other side, I walk out. There we go, it's captured me all around it, 180 degrees, and like I said, up to 12 meters out. It's triggering a lot now. You can see, if I open up my app, I'm already getting a lot of notifications coming through. So I open up the Hike Connect on my phone. Go to notifications. You can see all of the notifications there. So click on one, see the image, click playback and it launches into playback. And then I can do snapshot, record it, or I can even download it to my phone, or live view it. And there's it, back in this live view. So really powerful function. If I was a remote receiving center, I'd have had an email notification through to IMIC, Sentinel, etc., and they'd be able to act upon that, whether it's an audible warning to the site, send a security guard, key holder, etc., etc. So that is the principle of how we use that detector. Hope you found it useful. You can see I've got the lid on it now. It's a really nice looking bit of kit. So I, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to come to our uh, DVS staff here. Uh, they're all really well, well trained and really knowledgeable and they will help you. Don't forget to keep liking, subscribing, sharing, following us on all our social media platforms, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram now, um, et cetera, et cetera, where we will engage with you there if needed. Thank you so much for all of your comments, your likes and your shares, and see you next week.